Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a hot topic in the world of sports, Noah Lyles, and why he's been stirring up some controversy. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an update. Noah Lyles, the American sprinter and world champion, has been making headlines lately, but not everyone is a fan of the track star. So what's the deal? Let's break it down. Recently, Noah Lyles made headlines when he compared winning a gold medal at the World Championships to winning an NBA title. He suggested that his achievement was more significant than an NBA championship, which didn't sit well with some people. Now, this comparison didn't go over too well with NBA fans and players. Many felt that Lyles was downplaying the immense hard work and talent required to win an NBA title. It's a bit like comparing apples and oranges. Both are major achievements in their own right, but they come from very different arenas. Another reason for the criticism is Lyles's outspoken personality. He's known for his confidence and candid comments, which some people find refreshing, while others see it as arrogance. It's a fine line between confidence and cockiness, and not everyone agrees on where Lyles falls. But I will cut to a clip that explains everything in detail, and then I will come back for the rest of my commentary. A lot of y'all think niggas just hate on Noah Lyles because we NBA fans. So let me put this in context. I took the other video down. I'll put all of this in context as to why niggas don't fuck with not Noah Lyles. Exhibit A. They, he was on a podcast and they asked him about a 4x4 four, uh, four four race, who he would put on it. He left Quincy Hall. Yes, Quincy Hall, who just won gold for the U.S. Florida boy that wear golds in his mouth. He kept him off entirely. And he said, I wouldn't use him because I don't think he would be a starter. Right? Quincy Hall then tweeted, I don't bother nobody, but my block's ready anytime you feel like you could beat me in a 400. You was talking too much on my name on your little podcast. I don't do the little slick comments and remarks. I line up. Dog. And, and, and what Quincy did at the Olympics? Talking. Talking. Yeah, he, 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 he behind three niggas right now. You see that? Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Uh, Dog, nigga. We know about this unprovoked comment on the NBA that I spoke about already. Let's listen to it. The thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? Oh, but y'all don't care about that one, right? This was Noah Laos a couple days ago. Just a couple days ago. When he got we, around the time he tested positive for COVID. When I come off the turn, they will be depressed. As you can see, the man talks a lot. And even before races, once again, this is how he came out to start the race. Yeah, teed up, teed up, tee up, gang. Tee up, gang. Tee up, man. Tee up, man. Yeah. Yeah, tee up. Tee up. This is him. Yeah. I can give y'all example after example. When somebody say something to him, it's oh, it's hate, it's hate. He be writing checks his ass can't cash, bro. He talks so much shit. He hated on Quincy. He hated on the NBA. He was throwing shots and niggas at the podium and shit. He's so cocky. He come out, he talking. Cool, if you want to be cocky, be cocky, but when don't come out talking all that shit. And as soon as you lose, now you need a wheel chance. Shit. Niggas don't want to hear that game. Niggas don't and stop crying for this nigga. When he won the gold, I gave him his props, gang. I gave him his props. But y'all niggas be letting this nigga do whatever he want. And as soon as somebody say something about him, oh y'all niggas is hating. Y'all niggas is hating. He be hating. He hated on Quincy. He hated on the NBA players. And he continued to talk shit about the NBA players. That's what made it more egregious. You feel me? He's he's elite. I'm a fan of Noah. I was rooting for Noah. I just didn't like when the, the whole wheelchair and shit after nigga walk off. You feel me? Go to the podium and be like, yo, I was under the weather, but I still went out there. I still wanted to win. You feel me? And I couldn't close the show. Don't try to get, get the sympathy awards and shit now. You came out there hype. If you would have won, what, what you would have got, uh, got rolled away in a wheelchair too? I doubt it. You did it when you lost. That's why niggas not respecting it. Real niggas at least. Come on, man.
Despite the controversy, there's no denying Lyle's incredible talent and achievements. He's a world-class athlete who's earned his place at the top, and his confidence is part of what drives him to succeed. So, what do you think? Is Noah Lyles just speaking his truth, or is he crossing a line with his comments? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more sports news and updates.